we needed to figure out an automatic gate solution for this chain link fence gate that we have here and uh, I bought a swing arm gate uh, opener on eBay you can also buy them on Amazon and other places but they don't come with all the brackets you're gonna need okay so, so. I need to make a bracket that will hold this actuator that can open up this gate right here so I'm gonna base my bracket on these hinges it's called a bulldog chain link hinge and uh, what's cool about it is it has this this angle iron here or I should say u-channel and it has a rounded thing that that kind of snugs up against this four inch steel post and then it has a um, rod that like a u-bolt rod that holds it snug up against there so what I want to do is I'm gonna cut this piece of uh, tube steel down to size or something similar I don't it might maybe something a little smaller but something like this then I'm gonna bend this all thread I'm gonna bend this all thread on my bender around here and uh, make a, a kind of a u-bolt and then drill it out and put um, stainless steel nuts on to the all thread to make this kind of bracket it's not going to have this part right here but i'll i'll do something that'll make uh that, that'll make this so it can attach to this pretty stably stably is that a word I have this uh, Harbor Freight compact steel bender. Um, it's kind of nice. It's got these dies right here that kind of give you different radiuses. Um, it doesn't have exactly a four inch one, so I'm gonna go with the biggest radius and then I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it so I can get it right. And then this all thread will slip into here. And then I have stainless steel washers and nuts to screw that on. But the next part I gotta do is I gotta weld this bracket right here. I'm gonna just tack weld here and here and then run, run a bead up the back. Um, you gotta be really careful though because this is probably a zinc plated or galvanized. I think it's zinc plated. So I just take deep breaths and um, walk away from the uh, the welding smoke after I do the welding because you're not supposed to breathe any of that zinc or galvanized coating. Okay, so I did a, just a couple more small tack welds on the bottom too. I think this is gonna be more than enough um, considering I had everything just clamped and it was still operating. I think with just a few welds, this should have more than enough holding power for this gate opener. Part of the fun of having a shop and having all the tools that you have is making your own parts. Sometimes you're gonna save money and sometimes It'll probably come out even, but the whole idea is to make things yourself and to gain that knowledge of how to build and expand your tool set. Okay, so I'm taking the newly welded bracket and uh, the U-bolt out to the gate where I'm planning on putting it, and it's gonna go, it's gonna go tuck right like that. And uh, I can't do this while I'm holding it in my hand, so well, holding the video in my hand, so I will show you in a bit how this works. That works pretty darn nice. I like it. It looks kind of like the one that you purchased, but I made it at my house. And then, uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to 
get this off off of the wall. I just had this um, lashed to this fence until I could get the bracket all set. I have this other one right here. Um, I'm going to be attaching this somehow more permanently, but right now I just have bailing wire. Um, so basically you have to try to get it as level as possible so it, it's not fighting kind of torsion or torque or whatever. Um, not torque, not torque, but it's, so it's, so it's level so it, it can, when it pulls, it's not really having any friction more than just the weight of the gate. Okay, so I got this bracket installed. I still have this guy kind of clamped in with the uh, bailing wire, but um, I'm gonna test this just to see if the bracket holds. It slows halfway through, I think to conserve some energy. But the uh, bracket is holding really strong. You can barely even, t Ugh, I can't even move that thing. It's super solid. So I have a little bit more tweaking to do on this to get it to close at the perfect 90 degree angle, but more or less this has been a uh, pretty nice uh, project.